Hi there and welcome to Cappuccino Conversations. Thanks for joining us. This is where we celebrate innovation and entrepreneurship and great ideas. Um, and we are talking to some pretty amazing people. Uh, upcoming is the fifth South African Innovation Summit in Bryanston by the 28th, 29th and 30th of August. And uh, what we're doing these days is to talk to some of those speakers. Now I've got one of them here. This is Billy Krauser. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Billy. Aware um, of many hats in innovation. So I'm not even going to try and say what your company is or what you do, but I, I want to ask you what it is that you do because I don't speak to a lot of people who are in the innovation space, open innovation space. Tell me about open innovation. So if we, you know, in terms of what I do, I think there are different versions to it. So one is I work for a consulting firm. Mm -hmm. Um, in a space called uh, process innovation. Okay. So it's about how to be more innovative in terms of how we perform process. Then I'm also busy with a startup company that we call Knowledge Extend. Yeah. Um, and the whole idea of that is using an open network model. So it's saying that you know I can't necessarily employ 500 people, but uh, there's a network out there that I can utilize. And mm -hmm. one of the networks that I'm utilizing is actually students. So you yeah. normally have um, engineering students that need to complete some time in terms to, to get their um, degree. And you also have small medium enterprises that say, you know, we need help. Mm. We can't necessarily afford um, large firms, um, consulting firms to, to help us with that. And, you know, the idea of knowledge extent is just to bring these two parties together and see how right. we can actually help them from a business improvement as well as from an innovation perspective. And then thirdly, also busy with my studies at the moment. So doing my PhD in engineering. This is the interesting and, one. Uh, and this is what okay. I'm focusing on, okay. what I'll be talking mm. about at the conference as well, in the summit. Um, is, is around what is happening in the open innovation space um, in SMEs, in small, mm. medium-sized enterprises mm. in South Africa. Great. Um, I think there's you know, a lot of research being done in Europe, in the US about mm. you know, open innovation, but not that much in South Africa. Okay. And I really want to focus mm. on in terms of do we actually do open innovation, do we want to do open innovation? No, I, wanna, I don't want to take the punchline away <laughs> for the session, but I mean, is it true? I mean, I guess a lot of people are in that space, even though in that particular area there's not that much consulting going on or maybe not formulated mm. kind of open innovation platforms as such, but surely there's a lot of this happening, is it? Um, I think it's an it's emerging thing. So, mm -hmm. you know, open innovation itself is quite new. Um, if you really think, you know, from the time that it was coined, there's a, a professor called Henry Chesbrough that about 10 years ago, sure. you know, okay. put a label yeah. on it and yeah. said, this is open yeah. innovation. Yeah. Right. Um, but, but so it's Typically, it's kind of quite new. And it's still, still new. In South, South Africa, Africa is still new. Yeah. Even Europe and the US yeah. is still new. So people are still finding their feet, start, mm. um, trying to figure out how do we actually do open innovation? Mm. You know, how, much, how is that how different from normal innovation? You know, yeah. is it different? Yeah. Um, you know, just to sort of, you know, get to an understanding of how to do it and, and really, you know, starting to get the trend mm. um, in there and understand, mm. you know, what's the benefit and value of open innovation. Yeah. Now there's something very interesting that you're doing in terms of the students and, and, and how you're putting that, that together with, with these small, medium and... Small, medium and, enterprises. And, and small, medium <laughs> enterprises. How, tell, tell us a little bit more about that. So um, what we're trying to do is, what I've found is, and I've you know, spoken to quite a few small, medium enterprises as well as um, universities, mm. and you know, every time you talk to the universities, they say, you know, we need to get our students to qualify, yeah. but they need practical yeah. experience. You talk to the small medium enterprises and say, listen, I need help, but and I don't necessarily have the ideas. money. Absolutely. Okay? Yeah. Um, but we find that there's not uh, too many um, uh, companies that just provide that coordination between the two to make sure that you, you know, get the supply and demand, if you mm, want, get right. to get that yeah. right and bring it together. Yeah. So we're trying through knowledge extent to actually facilitate that. And then you have you know, benefit to the small medium enterprise to actually grow and become a better organization. Mm. But you also have the benefit on the other side for the, your students um, because they get that practical experience and knowledge um, mm. that they then can take into the work mm. um, environment mm. once they mm. uh, qualify. Awesome. And I started by asking why SMEs? Because, I mean, if you look at the ratio, I was under the impression that there's a larger number of big corporates and that's kind of where the workforce sits. But the truth is different, isn't it? I mean, it's no, definitely. Um, you know, if you, depending on the, you know, you ask and looking mm. at the stats, um, South Africa specifically, between 60 and 70 percent of all people that are employed are employed by small medium enterprises. Right. So that are co that those are companies that has got 50 or fewer employees in the right. company. Um, so yes, we always, you know, get stuck about the large corporates and we need to focus on them mm. and they need mm. to grow and they're mm. the big employers and they are important, definitely. 
but we forget about the smaller organizations and they're actually the guys that's carrying the bulk of the workforce at the moment that's right so okay. if you can focus on your small mm. medium enterprises and mm. you know improve them and get them better then the impact of your economy is quite vast yeah. um, so Usually. that's that's yeah. why I want to focus on that and that's where mm. I have my, my that's, passion that's fantastic so so but but it's not really just the, the the SMEs who must come to your session I mean if anybody wanted to book a session or or beforehand book make some contact t contact then obviously they can go online and there's a, a strap line on your screen right now where you can go online and, and, and book book a, a, a talk with Billy and perhaps make contact beforehand is there anything that people can prep does it necessarily have to be small small SMEs or can it be larger corporations obviously they'll be of great interest to anybody any any size of corporate or organization mm. can actually have a look. I mean, open innovation um, can work um, at any size mm. of organization. Mm. There was always, you know, I think a lot of the research are being currently done on larger organizations, okay. forgetting about the smaller mm. guys, but, you know, it's applicable to small, medium, large corporates, yeah. doesn't mm. matter. Um, if you're an organization that wants to focus on uh, innovation, mm. Um, and want to get into the, in the open innovation space needs for you. Then this is a session to be in. Definitely. Okay. Now I want to ask you, I, um, I ask everybody about a previous life because nobody who's in innovation, <laughs> because it's so new, has always been in innovation. What did you do in your previous life? <laughs> so I started out in engineering. I'm an industrial engineer. Okay. Um, so I uh, started my work life in the in logistics uh, mm -hmm. space and doing you know, a lot of large trucks and things like that. Mm. And from there decided, you know what, I actually want to get into consulting <coughs> and Excuse. consulting, management consulting. So I did that for a few years, then joined the bank, um, one of the large four in South Africa, and worked in their business improvement as well as innovation mm. space. Okay. And then decided, okay, let's get back into consulting again. So I guess a, a bit of a zigzag path, but always, you know, busy with how do we do things better. That's how you make the connections, right? You jump from the That's one to the one. Great. Billy, thank you so very much for joining us. Uh, that's Billy Krauser. Thanks for, for being here. We look forward to your session. We're definitely going to go and check it out. Thanks. Um, thank you. And if you do go online, make sure that you check out uh, exactly when that session is going to be um, and look at some of the other speakers. In the meantime, remember that there's a great competition, an innovation competition. If you have some great innovation that you've created, uh, take a picture, go onto the Facebook site and make sure that you get friends to vote for it because there's some great prizes. Until another time, thanks for watching Cappuccino Conversations. Goodbye.